Issa Zaraper, Iran's Minister of Communications and Information Technology, said PARS-1 will be added to the country's sensing satellites, and images and data sent by it will be used for multiple purposes. Zaraper announced the launch on Wednesday, noting that in order to develop international interactions, this satellite will be launched into orbit aboard the Russian rocket Soyuz. He described the PARS-1 satellite as 100% Iranian-built by domestic knowledge-based companies, adding that a total of 13 satellites have been launched by Iran in the last two years, including three satellites simultaneously last month. The PARS-1 satellite is a long-running project of Iranian scientific organizations and was first announced in the early 2010s as pars Sepper, together with the related remote sensing satellite PARS-2. In 2011 and 2012, the then-president of the Iranian Space Agency, ISA, announced the pars Sepper and PARS-2 projects as remote sensing satellites, stating that their development would take four years and that they would be launched at an altitude of about 600 kilometers. The only known capability at that time was relatively stronger recording capabilities compared to the experimental satellites Amir Kaber, Navid and Zafer the PARS-2 project was led by the Satellite Research Institute, Aka Space Research Institute, SRI, working under the Space Research Center of ISA and pursuing the objectives and responsibilities of the Ministry of Science, Research and Technology. Another important organization involved in the project was the Iran Electronics Industries, i.e. Ayersaran, also responsible for designing and developing the first indigenously produced satellite of Iran, named Ahmed, which was launched in early 2009. At the end of 2014, the deputy head of the ISA mentioned the PARS in the context of three satellites that are being prepared for launch by a new and more powerful launch vehicle, in other words, SIMERC, due to changes in government's personnel and space program priorities, as well as initial difficulties with the SIMERC carrier rocket, the launch of PARS-1 was repeatedly announced and delayed. In 2017, after the first failed launch of Simurg, the then director of ISA, announced that the PARS is the last among five satellites on the agenda for launching. PARS was then described as the newest Iranian satellite initiative still in the conceptual phase, with design and construction elements, just beginning under a consortium of Iranian universities across the country. Two years later, the head of the Iranian Space Research Center announced a plan to launch the PARS satellite by March 2020, which was not implemented due to difficulties with the Simmer carrier rocket. The launch of the PARS satellite was announced several more times, including last year when the construction phase of the PARS-2 was revealed, as well as the design phase of the PARS-3, Iran's most advanced remote sensing satellite so far. Three weeks before the launch, various technical details of the PARS-1 satellite were published in the Iranian media, including claims that it would be launched with the Simmer carrier rocket. PARS-1 joined a thousand other observation satellites in space, mostly in low Earth orbit LEO, of about 500 kilometers, imaging the surface and sending the recorded material to control centers. During the 2010s, the SRI described the project as mostly meeting civilian needs of the country in the fields of agriculture, natural resources, soil science, urban and rural monitoring, water resources, natural disasters, geomorphology, geology and meteorology. Among the applications of satellites are calculation of cultivated area, determining the condition of the soil, natural resources and biomass, identification of plant and forest species, monitoring water levels, floods, fires, pollution, volcanoes, natural disasters, oil spills, coastline changes, extent of snow and ice, etc. Iran is unfortunately exposed to natural and other disasters and cannot be dependent on foreign remote sensing technology, more expensive and often denied for political reasons. The primary goals were officially stated to be the creation of a map of the Iranian mainland at a scale of 1 100,000 
and a map of the Iranian seas, at a scale of 1 200,000. Thousands of photos are needed for this type of mapping, and it should be noted that such images cost thousands of dollars individually on the global market. In addition to being designed and produced for practical imaging, the secondary goals include the development of the domestic measurement data market, and the development and testing of basic technologies of measurement satellites on the ground.